Hey guys, what's up? It's Miss Congoer here, and tonight is WWE Backlash. Whoop, 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 whoop. First SmackDown pay per view of the year, and I am completely excited for it. I'm going to get ready and enjoy it. Um, I'm most looking forward to the women's six pack challenge to crown the first SmackDown women's champion. Um, I am hoping either Becky Lynch or Naomi walk out with that new title. Uh, I believe they really deserve a shot. They are both incredibly talented women and they haven't been able to hold the title yet. So um, I think tonight is either one of their nights. Um, it's going to be an amazing show either way. So enough of my digression. So tonight's video... Um, is just gonna be a little bit more about an introduction for me. Um, I wanted to give you guys my top five um, favorite experiences I've had as a fan. Um, there's a lot more than five, but I don't wanna have to um, keep you guys too long um, in some boring video. So I am just gonna stick with my top five. If you guys want to know any others, um, feel free to drop a comment below and I will more than happily answer any other questions you have. Um, I'll probably be doing a reaction video to Backlash that either tomorrow or sometime this week, but I'll try to get that out as soon as I can. All right, so for number five, it has to be my first ever um, television event, which was Monday Night Raw. It was November 22nd, 2010, and that was the night after Survivor Series where John Cena lost to Wade Barrett and had to leave the WWE. So it was my first ever actual t TV show. And I go when Cena was apparently not going to be there anymore. So, and as a John Cena fan, that kind of hurt. So I'm kind of glad he didn't stay away, which was amazing. Um, so we were actually, me and my mom, who you'll probably meet in other videos down the line because I try to get her to come out to as many of my events as I can because I love having her around. She's my best friend. Um, so we were actually on the side where we would be on camera. So I had a couple of signs. I had my John Cena sign and I had a Michael Cole sign that said, and I quote, shut up Michael Cole. And that was actually sh shown during the um, commercial breaks and seeing his reaction to it, it was pretty funny because he was just Oh gosh, enough with the signs, people. Um, and I was also there to see The Miz win his first ever WWE Championship. And I know a lot of people um, say that The Miz really isn't all that great, but I've met him and he's pretty cool. A little bit cocky, but I mean, anybody can can be. And you, I know everybody will agree with me being there when somebody wins their first title um, their first major title is pretty incredible just to see their reactions live it's a pretty cool thing to, to see um, number four has to be um, when I first met Paige for the first time um, it was at Wrestlemania 30 my first ever Wrestlemania and we were in I was in line with my dad to get autographs and we didn't know who was coming and it was taking quite a while and Paige was actually in a match with Alexa Bliss at the at that moment. Um, so we were all waiting and people were getting a little bit agitated because we've been waiting for a little bit of time. And they were like, oh, it better not just be Hornswoggle. I don't want to have to wait just for that. Um, so finally, the people come out and to our surprise, it's Paige and Alexa Bliss. So they had a good excuse. They had actually just been in the ring wrestling. So... Um, it, no, no, long, no, no wonder it was taking so long for them to get over there. Um, I was a little disappointed that so many people left the line when they found out it was Paige and Alexa Bliss because um, I was a huge fan of Paige's. Um, I loved her look. I loved her attitude. She wasn't like any of the other women that were wrestling at the time. And it just drew me in because she was herself. Um, and also Alexa Bliss. I didn't know a lot about her at the time, but... Um, watching a lot of her matches now, um, I've become a fan. I mean, she's so spunky and just sassy and I just, I, I aim to be like her. I aim to have that confidence. All right. So back to the meeting. 
Um, when I found out it was Paige, I lost it. I was in tears, shaking, crying. And my dad was just like, okay, keep it together, please. Like, why are you freaking out so much? And I was just, this is Paige. Like, I loved her at that time. Um, and so when I got closer, she actually saw me when she was um, coming up back onto the stage after signing autographs for some of the disabled um, fans. And she saw how excited I was. She just didn't understand why I was so excited to meet her. Um, so I finally get up and I have her sign my drawing and I'm just a sobbing mess telling her how much she means to me, how big a fan I am. And she gets up, comes around and hugs me and it's just an amazing, she just says, you know, thank you so much for always supporting me. Um, she gave me the title to kind of hold and I actually have the photo of me holding the title with her and that's one of my favorite photos and one of my favorite memories, which is why it is number four. All right, so going on to number three, it was, has to be my first ever NXT show. Um, that happened just recently and it was actually the first wrestling show I had been to in quite some time. The last one before that was WrestleMania 30, which was probably about two years ago. So this, I was so excited for this. Um, hadn't gone to a live event in so long. Um, I sprung for ringside seats, which was completely worth it. I was in front of the ring, dead center, and I was able to see all the action. Almost got hit by the barricade a few times. So note to self, if you guys are ever um, at a live event and you're sitting right in front of the barricade, always be on the lookout and be aware. And if you see someone flying at that barricade, just back up a little bit because you do not want to get hit by that thing. It looks like it hurts if it lands on you. So that entire event was, the show was amazing. Um, getting to see a lot of the, my favorite talent that was in NXT at the time, like American Alpha, um, Nia Jax, uh, Alexa Bliss, Finn Balor, Asuka, who is incredible. Um, and of course, Bailey. I am a huge Bailey fan and uh, I, Bailey is my favorite at this moment. Um, I'm always, I always have, yeah, sorry. Um, I always change my, my favorites always change. I love all the female competitors, but Bailey is by far my favorite at this moment. Um, and I had a sign that had, that said, Bailey, I want a hug. It's on my WWE bucket list. And she saw my sign, came over, hugged me and proceeded to give me the shirt she was wearing over her ring gear gave it to me and that was amazing I got a free souvenir and um, it's not on my wall at the moment but um, I am gonna pin it up on my wall and when it does I'll send I'll send you guys a video of that showing that because it's pretty cool I tried wearing it but yeah I'm not her size I wish all right so number two was meeting Mick Foley at WrestleMania 30 um, like Paige I became a sobbing mess when I met Mick Foley. Um, I love his in-ring work. Um, I'm a big fan of him as a person. Um, he is incredible. He works with so many good charities and he, he just, he really genuinely loves the fans. He loves this business. I mean, he gave his body for this business and for him to continue to give and to be a part of it is incredible. So I walk up and like I said, I'm a crying mess and He's just so sweet. He signs my drawing and he looks at me and he's like, you look like you need a hug. Do you need a hug? And I'm just luckily not wearing any eye makeup or my, I would look like a raccoon that day crying. Yes, I need a hug, please. And he gets up and gets me a hug and it feels like I'm getting hugged by Santa Claus and it's incredible. And I told him that I'm more excited to meet you than John Cena. And it was a fact. I'm a huge Cena fan, but when it came to Mick Foley, um, Mick Foley kind of tops John Cena. Sorry, Cena, I love you still, but it's Mick Foley, come on. And he was so genuinely shocked by that, that he actually um, had me say that in a video that he, made, that, he, that he did on his phone. And I'll actually put a link to that video below, so you guys know I'm not making that up, because a lot of people <laughs> said that I made that up. Like, no, there is actual video proof of 
me and McFoley making a video together. So it's out there. So that is number two. Now, number one is, um, again, WrestleMania 30, being there live when the streak ended. I, this was my first ever WrestleMania, so I knew I would see some history-making stuff. I did not expect to be there when the streak ended. When I became a fan and I learned about what the streak was um, and seeing it on TV, I... I thought, like everybody else, that this streak would never end, especially after the matches with Shawn Michaels with um, Triple H. I I was like, okay, this streak is just, it's going to continue on. It's going to get to 30-0, and 0, and Undertaker's going to ride off into the sunset, and that streak will always be there. No one will ever beat it. So, and it's Brock Lesnar, and I have my own things with Brock Lesnar thinking, but I... I kind of like him. He's okay. Um, it's not my favorite. Um, so I, I didn't, I thought, okay, it's gonna be a good match. I mean, Brock Lesnar, he's a beast in that ring. Like, whether you like him or not, he can, he'll kick, he'll kick the shit out of you. Sorry for the language. Um, but I never thought that he would be the one to break the streak. And when it happened, it kind of, if you watched on TV, you saw everybody's reactions. It was a whole lot different when you're actually there. I mean, that entire place was completely packed. The moment the ref rung the bell, you could hear a freaking pin drop. It was that quiet. And you just, I just saw everybody's eyes go from the ring, go to the ramp, back and forth, and to each other seeing if somebody's gonna run out and reverse the call like oh no his foot was on the line um something his foot was on the rope it was you know he, he kicked out you just didn't see it nothing happened and the ref called for Brock Lesnar as the winner and then everybody just lost it I mean I I saw a couple of grown men crying that's how crazy it was and my dad god bless him I've I, I want to make a shout out to my dad. I have dragged him out to so many like concerts and wrestling events um, that he isn't even a fan of, and he is stuck through it. And dad, you the real MVP. Love you. Um, and he had no idea what was going on, and he was just like, "Why is everybody freaking out?" And I just like look at him, and I am just still in shock myself. And I just look at him and go, "The freaking streak is over." And he's like, "Is." that a big deal and I was and I literally yelled into his face yes we thought it would never break and I'm just like rambling on with everybody and the guys behind us are trying to explain it to my dad and, and it was just this crazy thing that happened and it it will go down in history as one of the best moments I've ever been at to have said that I was there when the streak ended I will be telling my kids I will be telling my grandkids who I will get to be wrestling fans. They're going to grow up wrestling fans. There's no way out of that one. That I was there when the streak ended. And I am, prou I am proud to say that, that my first ever WrestleMania that I have ever went to, the streak ended. And that is my number one experience. I have so many other experiences I can talk about. Um, but like I said, I don't want to keep you guys too long. I know people are getting ready to watch Backlash. I know I'm getting ready to watch Backlash. So... If you guys have a comment, you want to leave a comment, leave it below, subscribe, um, and have an amazing day. And I'm going to steal Xavier Woods' um, closing line until I get my own. Keep it tight, all.